This video series is to educate you about the signs of sexual exploitation and human trafficking. From grooming tactics to the methods of recruitment, where exploitation happens, how to access supports, and how to find out more information. We want to raise awareness that exploitation doesn't just happen in other parts of the country or the world, but that it happens right here in our own city and in our own neighborhoods. We want to provide you with the resources to be able to recognize and prevent exploitation of our children and youth. My experience with Say Workers has been extremely positive. I've really learned how to love myself more and how to appreciate the joys and the happiness of life. To tell the difference between right and wrong and that I don't have to surround myself with negative or toxic people to feel loved. They've helped connect me to a bunch of great supports in my life, such as my drug and alcohol counselor, the school that I'm going to, and all my amazing workers that have been with me through my journey. They've truly showed me that it's better off to love myself than to look for other people's approval to love myself. Sexual exploitation is the sexual abuse of a child or youth under the age of 18 through the exchange of sexual acts for drugs, food, shelter, and money. Grooming occurs when someone befriends or establishes an emotional connection with a child or youth with the intention of sexual exploitation. In Canada, the legal age to consent to sexual activity is 16. The Criminal Code of Canada also states, however, that it is illegal for a young person under the age of 18 to consent to sexual activity with an adult in a position of trust, authority, or dependency, such as a teacher, a caregiver, or a religious leader. Human trafficking involves the recruitment, transportation, harboring, and or exercising control, direction, or influence over the movement of a person in order to exploit them. This would look like a trafficker telling the young person what to do, when they can leave, or when they cannot leave. Traffickers would transport the person to different cities, provinces, or countries for the purpose of sexually exploiting them for money. Recruitment is the process of manipulation, force, threats, and lies predators use to carefully select and engage a young person to be exploited. Historically, sexual exploitation happened more openly and was seen as street-level sex work. Now, however, we see it happening in apartments, homes, and hotels. It's important for everyone to be aware that sexual exploitation and human trafficking happens in our cities and in our neighborhoods. It is not a choice to be exploited or trafficked, especially if you are a young person. In 2011, Reza Mozami was charged with 36 counts of sexual exploitation and sexual abuse to victims ranging in age from 14 to 19 years old. These offenses occurred in Vancouver, Richmond, and North Vancouver. In 2015, Reza Mozami was sentenced to 23 years in prison. This is the first human trafficking conviction for British Columbia.